I don't know a whole lot about this particular chemical, and it's one that uh, you know that we've had to do a lot of research on internally, very quickly to find out what effects it may have. About 170 people were treated for possible exposure in emergency rooms. Then released officials say they could start lifting the "do not use" order in zones where tap water is once again safe to use after people flush their systems. Some people from this area have headed down to help out the people affected by the emergency. Now, Charlie McGeever is a volunteer with the American Red Cross from Cleveland. He says he's mostly been going door to door, helping pass out bottled water to the elderly and special needs folks. He says residents there are surprised he came all the way from Cleveland to help. You get a cool reaction, um, you know, oh, thanks for coming, you know, thanks for coming down and helping us. Uh, you know, we're a volunteer-led organization, so uh, it's not unusual to get volunteers from all over the country uh, on these operations. McGeever says his days have been about 16 hours of hard work, but the smiles are worth it. With the flushing order now underway, McGeever should be back home in just a few days. Switching gears.